Hello everyone and welcome to Nemo's webinar, Mission, Vision and Values. What else? Nemo is the network of European museum organizations and represents European museums towards policymakers on both national and EU level. Moreover, Nemo provides a platform to share knowledge and train museum professionals in Europe through our training courses, learning exchanges and the webinars. Today's webinar will be facilitated by David Guillaume, who is not only the director of the German Museums Association since 2017, but also the NEMO chair since 2014. Before coming to Germany, David was the head of the joint office of the Swiss Museums Association and ICOM Switzerland for 11 years. A few months ago, David was giving a workshop in Georgia in the course of NEMO's partner project Be Museumers on today's topic, mission, vision and values for museums. In a changing world, museums should regularly think about what they are actually doing, what they want to achieve and how they are working. In this one hour webinar, David will give you some keys to develop, confirm and rethink your museum identity statement. At the end of the webinar session, you can ask questions in the Q&A chat, um, in the chat function. I now hand over to David Guillaume and wish you all a fruitful webinar session. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Mira, for this introduction. And thank you all that you are here. You are very numerous. We have uh, reached the maximal amount, the uh, maximum number of participants. So thank you very much that you are here. Um, it's my first webinar, so I hope uh, it will be technically okay. I hope you will put up with my Frenchy accent 60 minutes long. And, uh, and of course, I hope this webinar will uh, contribute to, uh, to achieve your uh, goals. Um, first of all, I want to ask you a question. Um, if I ask you no, what is your museum for? Are you able to answer this question? I opened so, a poll and uh, we, you can just click on it uh, if, uh, if, uh, and give your, your answer. So can you answer the question right now? What is your museum for? The question is, are you able to answer the, this question? Yes, of course you can or you have to think about it a couple of uh, minutes, or you say, I'm not responsible for these strategic matters or for uh, the four possibilities to say, no, no, I'm sorry, I, I'm not able to answer the question. It's great. We have now uh, a lot of people that are, uh, that are able to answer the question. If you are not working for a museum, we have some students in the, um, in uh, or just interested pe people in the participant uh, group, you can just think uh, about your last visit, uh, the last museum you visited, because actually as a visitor, you should also, after one visit, be able to explain what is the, muse what is the museum for. So we are waiting a couple of seconds. Ah, some people say no, okay, no. Um, on not some people, just one pe one person. So um, I give you the, the the result in a couple of seconds. You have now maybe ten seconds time to answer the question. Can are you able to answer the question? What is your museum for? Yes, you have to think about, or you are not responsible for that, or you are not able. Okay, we are going to see the result. And you see now the result. We have 35% uh, of the participants, they say, yes, I know what is my museum for, great. So it means the webinar today will, will give you some keys to, um, uh, to, to not to rethink, uh, or maybe to rethink your, your identity statements, but to uh, to confirm them or just to to check how you work with your identity statements. Um, Twenty percent say I have to think about it. Great, because we are going to think about it uh, in the in the next uh, hour. 
And 10% says, I'm not responsible for this strategic matter. I think that is an interesting answer. Uh, the question, who is responsible for this question? What is your museum for? My idea is that every stakeholder in a museum, not only the director, not only uh, the, 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 the organization paying for the museum, not only, uh, I don't know, every people having a contact with the museum, included the visitors, should be able to answer the question and they cannot say, I'm not responsible for that. But it's interesting to speak about that and to think about that, that is uh, the idea of uh, this, uh, this webinar. So we come back to you. Uh, if you are a museum director, if you're a student, if you are just museum visitor interested in museums, it's always interesting to take time to think about uh, museum identity. So our objective is to think about identity statements for museums. In general, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, it's very important, it's very strategic, it's very central to think about what are the objectives uh, of the, what, what, what is the identity of the museum, but actually we are always working in the daily life and we don't take time to think about that. So it's good to have this time today. Thank you that you take this time. And I would like to, to, to give you some keys to develop, to confirm or to rethink your museum identity statement. I have four chapters. The first chapter is a kind of warm up. We want to ask what should a museum be? We are going to ask ICON. Um, then we are really uh, coming to the subject. We are, we, we are going to define what is mission, what is vision, what is values. Um, then the third chapter is uh, a chapter about other identity uh, point, other uh, um, bearer of identity, mission, vision, and values is very good. It's the bone of the identity of museum, but it's not enough. And at the end, I'd like to give you just a short summary and possibly some uh, short uh, recommendation. So we are speaking about museum identity. And this word, identity, is a little bit tricky. Uh, it's a political word, so just to be sure which values, because it's, uh, it's, it's a question of values, which values I connect with the word identity, just want to say three things. When I speak about identity, I don't think about an essentialist identity. Like with people, we are not we don't have one identity at the, uh, the beginning of the life, of life and, and until the end of the life, we are exactly the same people. So it's not essentialist. It's, of course, identity multi-layered. So for an organization like for people, we have a lot of different facets, a lot of, lot of different sides. So we have a lot of different tensions in our identity. So I did, I, I, that's, for me, value, the multi-layered uh, uh, characteristic of identity. And of course, identity is dynamic. Uh, what you are, what your organization is today is not exactly what the organization is going to be in 10 years. So just to be, to be sure and to begin to speak about values. So first um, chapter, what should a museum be? And one organization has been dealing with the museum definition for more than 70 years. That's ICOM. And so this first uh, warm up chapter is, uh, is a tribute to, to ICOM. And I begin with the museum definition of ICOM, the current museum definition that you know, I think, but we take time to read it uh, now. A museum is a non-profit permanent institution in the service of society and its development, open to the public, which acquires, conserves, researches, communicates, and exhibits the tangible and intangible heritage of humanity and its environment for the purposes of education, study, and enjoyment. Actually, we know all this definition, but, um, but it's good regularly to read it and to see what, 
what does it mean everything and now we don't think about just about what does it does it mean but we are going to rearrange uh, the content of this definition this definition could be has four different contents uh, some information about the status of the museum, some information about the activities. The definition gives uh, uh, speak about the purposes of the museum and about the aim. So if we uh, organize the contents about the status, we have um, uh, non-profit, the fact that the museum is a permanent institution and that the museum is an open um, institution. About the activities, is clear acquisition, conservation, research, communication, exhibition. And then we have information about the purposes. What is the purposes of a museum? According to the ICOM, the current, current ICOM definition, the purposes are education, study, and enjoyment. So we know what is the museum, what are the activities, what are the purposes, but what is the ultimate goal of uh, the, uh, the museum? It's just uh, one sentence. Uh, ICOM says the museum have to be in the service of society and its development. So we do everything, according ICOM, we do everything what we do in a museum to develop society. ICOM doesn't say what's it, what does it mean, but that is the aim. So when we have these four uh, parts of the definition, we see some um, connection with values, mission, and vision. The status of museum are actually values. To be non-profit, to be permanent, to be open, that are values. Um, the activities are connected with the mission of the museum and the aim, the ultimate goal of the museum, can be seen as a vision. But this definition hasn't been uh, developed uh, to fit in these three bone uh, definition parts of, uh, of a museum, so values, mission and vision. So let's have a look to the alternative museum definition. You know that uh, ICOM uh, proposed a new museum uh, definition last year in the, in, uh, during the General Assembly, and you know possibly also that, that this definition hasn't been accepted and have to be uh, more discussed, uh, to be rediscussed or to be accepted uh, in another form, maybe in two years. Um, let's read the first part of the definition of this new definition of the alternative museum definition that have been uh, proposed by ICOM. Museums are democratizing, inclusive and polyphonic spaces for critical dialogue about the pasts and the futures, acknowledging, acknowledging and addressing the conflicts and challenging of the present. They hold artifacts and specimens in trust for society safeguard diverse memories for future generations and guarantee equal rights and equal access to heritage for all people. So we can uh, rearrange this definition really in three groups. Every content of this definition are fitting in uh, the three group vision, mission and values. The values easy, inclusive. Values are usually just uh, uh, um, adjectives, so inclusive, diverse, critical. The museum stands for equality and for trust. We have then um, the mission. The mission, according of this new definition, is to safeguard and guarantee access uh, to the to heritage and that museum are spaces for dialogue and the vision the long-term vision is that museum have to address present challenges and have a democratizing effect not alone of course a very long time uh, vision but they could uh, they could contribute to democratization of society 
let's have a look now to the second part of the definition. You know, this definition is very, very long. Museums are not for profit. They are participatory and transparent and work in active partnership with and for diverse communities to collect, preserve, research, interpret, exhibit, and enhance understandings of the world, aiming to contribute to human dignity and social justice, global equality, and planetary well-being. It's a big program, huh? it's a long definition. And with this part, we can do exactly the same, uh, the same work like before, and, uh, and uh, take the part of the definition uh, in, uh, in a group of vision, mission, values. The missions are collect, preserve, research, interpret, exhibit the world. Uh, the values are not for profit, participatory, transparent, standing for diversity, for partnership, and the vision is uh, the idea that the museum can enhance understandings of the world and contributing to very, very broad uh, goals, dignity, social justice, equality, and uh, planetary well-being. Uh, so the new definition or the proposed definition last year uh, during our ICOM, the ICOM General Assembly is from the structure Perfect, because it's uh, the definition of museum based on vision, mission, and values. Um, but, but the definition haven't been accepted. Uh, and I'd like to ask you to write, uh, I think here, so you should have your, your chat there, to ask you uh, to, 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 to write your answer to this question. What's the problem? What do you think, just in one word or two words, why these, um, this new definition haven't been accepted, despite the fact that uh, this definition is perfectly based on mission, vision, and values, and is clear about that? So I just want to see what you write. It's too wide, very interesting, yes. It's too long, absolutely very interesting. Too much ideology, I, I read, is too wide, yes. Uh, too many words, so too long, yes. Too abstract, it complicated the simple mission of museum, too complex. So it's interesting because I wrote uh, the result of, um, of a discussion with, uh, uh, with a group of, um, of participants in, uh, in the last um, uh, training I had in uh, Tbilisi um, last year. And the list was exactly the list you are um, uh, writing in your, in your chat. What the problem? The problem is that the definition is too long, too abstract, too complicated, possibly too connotated. There are some words, uh, very important concept like uh, like inclu inclu inclusion or planetary well-being, very interesting concept, but they are politically connotated, very difficult to implement because it's not clear enough uh, how to do that, and possibly Possibly this definition is a little bit pretentious. And if I make this list, my goal is not to criticize the, uh, the, the, the uh, proposal uh, of, 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 of ICOM. The discussion is ongoing, that's everything. Okay, it's interesting just to have this example to, to know if you write your museum uh, identity statement, your vision statement, your value statement, your uh, mission statement, think about that. Not too long, not too abstract, not too complicated, if possible, not connotated, not difficult to implement. So think about the implementation before. And, uh, and of course, not too pretentious, what does it mean? Of course, we all believe, I do, that museum can change lives, but every museum cannot change the whole world. So sometimes it's good just to be a little bit humble. So let's move to the second chapter. We are going now really to define 
what is mission, what is vision, what is values. We all know what it is, what it could be. Uh, we just take time to try to find a usable, practical definition. And to begin uh, with the definition, I take just uh, have to taken a, a dictionary, the Merriam-Webster dictionary, and I've tried to find the three words. The word mission, what does it mean according to the dictionary? A mission is a specific task with which a person or a group is charged. So very simple, uh, very, uh, very clear. But there are other definitions that are more abstract, uh, that are possibly more interesting for uh, the museum work. The second definition is that a mission is a body of person sent to perform a service or carry on an activity. So a mission is not only a task that can be a group of people, political mission, for example. The third definition is very interesting. I think the mission is a calling, a vocation. So we have now a kind of uh, of layer that is yeah, quite religious. If you take the force, a sag, uh, an assignment to work in a field of missionary enterprise. So it's like a religious mission. And I think a mixture of everything is, uh, is uh, usable in the museum world, but we have to be, to be so concrete as possible. So for the museum, the mission is what your museum aims to do in the short terms. So what you do and what you aim to do, what you can do, but we add an, a layer of, um, of deeper content. When you speak about the mission of your museum, you should explain, you should give information about why your museum exists. So, and if you don't want to use the word mission because it's also connotated, it's used, it's been used for, for, for many years in every sector, not only in the, in the uh, in, in, uh, in the museum sector, in the cultural sector, or the non-profit sector. So if you don't want to use the word mission, you can uh, use uh, the word function. What is a value? Values are, if you take the dictionary, the monetary worth of something. So we cannot really begin with that in the museum world because we are a non profit. So we take the second definition. It's a fair return or equivalent in goods, services of money, a fair return of, for something exchange. That is interesting. Now we are in a situation of, um, of exchange, of, uh, of dialogue. And the third definition is very interesting for us. It's something such a, as a principle or quality intrinsically valuable or desirable. That is very interesting for the museum. All the three layers are very interesting for the definition of what is museum values. But for the values, we want to be concrete. And it's why I propose you to use the word values to, under, under, uh, to answer the question, how your museum is managed. But how it means based on what your museum believes in. So what is important for museum, how you manage the museum is a possibility of expressing the values, what you as a person, but what your museum uh, believes in. So if you don't want to use the word or the connotated word values, you can try with the soul of the museum. When I work in a museum, when I do something in a museum, which is the soul uh, in which I am uh, acting? And third uh, definition, the vision. If you take the Merriam-Webster dictionary under vision, you have the act, the power of seeing. Very simple, uh, very uh, not, uh, yeah, very simple, very concrete, very, uh, not abstract, but it can go much 
um, in another direction is also the act of the power of imagination. So not only what you see, but what you can imagine. I, uh, of course, I like uh, this, um, this definition. It's, it's very interesting for the museums. Third definition, something seen is a, in a dream, in a trance, even in ecstasy. So I think the vision of the museum is in between. It's not only the reality what you see, but I think it's not, it doesn't have to be a dream that is impossible to reach. So for the museum, the definition I, I propose to you is uh, what your museum wants to achieve in the long term. The mission was in the short term, now we are in the long term. Um, the vision is where your museum wants to eventually be. So possibly you cannot reach the goal um, or maybe in one, 100 years. So you, you, you have to be the vision, the imagination, what you would like to, 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 to become. And, and you can think also about what the museum wants to change in the long term. So if you don't want to use the word vision, you can try with the word, with the word goal, but to think about really goal, um, in question of social change or uh, a goal in the long term. So mission and function, vision and goal, values and soul, they are three different uh, concepts that, but the three different concepts are of course very, uh, very connected. They are all the three uh, objects are the bone of uh, the identity of museums. Uh, and sometimes if you, if you write an identity statement or presentation of your museum and you mixed all the three level or the, the three categories of information, that's, that's okay. But for, uh, for exercising what is mission, what is vision, what is values, um, I suggest you to try, not now, we don't have any time for that, but it's, a, it's, it's an exercise, uh, a proposal for an ex exercise. Try to write one sentence with a mission statement, one vision statement, just, just one sentence or two, and a value statement. You don't have then to, uh, to, to publish the three different kind of information separately. You can have a mix of all the things, but if you do this exercise, you are able then to, uh, to separate and to be precise, uh, more precise about the identity of your music. I give you uh, as an example, some uh, vi mission, vision and value statements of organization, not museums. I took, for this example, I took uh, some colleagues from museum associations and I begin with the Museum Association of the UK. The mission is to inspire museums to change lives. So is, uh, is the, the, the base of the work they do. The vision is uh, connected, connected with, the, with the museums. The vision is that the museums in the UK are at the heart of their communities, but inclusive, participatory, and socially engaged. So that is the vision, the long-term goal of the Museum Association in the UK. They want to have museums in the UK at the heart of their community that are inclusive, participatory, and socially engaged. And the values, interesting, is courage, the Museum Association, the value of the Museum Association, they work on the base, on the base of courage, diversity and equality is important for the Museum Association. And very important for the Museum Association is the, the way to work, to work always collaboratively uh, with the museums, um, for example. 
Second example, different example, another museum association, the Finnish Museum Association. Um, the mission the Finnish Museum Association uh, gives uh, uh, itself is helping museum succeed. Very simple mission. The vision, so the long-term goal is that the FMA, the Finnish Museum Association, is, so will become, that is the vision, a strong advocacy organization in Finland and a forerunner in developing the museum field in Europe. That's the vision of the FMA. And the values of uh, FMA, interesting, is uh, 4C, member centricity, curiosity, courage, and sense of community. So centris member centricity, 4C. And last uh, example, just to, to see that is really easy or possible to separate separate the three uh, statements the um, uh, american uh, alliance of museum the mission of the aam is to champion museums and to nurture excellence um, it's really a slogan you see the mission is in these three organization very short presented as a kind of slogan the vision of the AAM is a world informed and enriched by thriving museum. It's not only the USA, you know, the world. They would like to, 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 to have an impact of a worldwide impact. And the values, partnership, access and inclusivity, excellence and courage. It's interesting, these three uh, museum associations have a lot of in common, of course, but also the idea of to be courageous. I like this, this idea. If you are courageous, it means you have some, uh, you are um, facing challenges and, uh, and you try to do something and you can be also, you can have, uh, you can make mistakes. So it's very interesting the ideas of the values of an inst institution to be courageous. Um, now we come to the third um, chapter. Mission, vision, values, we know what is it. Possibly we are able to write a statement about mission, vision, values, but what else? I think it's not enough to have just a mission, vision, and values. We, the identity of museum is more than only to focus on the three things that are very important, but it's not enough. So uh, what comes on top or what can be added to these kind of statements, so a mission statement, a vision statement, value st statement, to have a real functioning identity statement. Because identity is what a museum is, what a museum has, what a museum wants to be, how the museum is perceived, and a lot of other things. Identity is very, very complex. So, um, I have a second idea to, for an exercise that you could do after uh, this webinar, um, just to look around you in different institutions, uh, look for their mission, vision and value statement or statements where they present themselves. You could take a lot, uh, five, six, uh, ten, and compare them and to see where, we, at which moment when you read them, you have the impression, okay, you understand what is the museum for. Um, so this question of what is, what, which added information are very important to understand the identity of the museum. Uh, I've tried uh, to, to take some 
other uh, identification of co different institutions, the South Australian Museum, National Museum of Australia, Smithsonian, so big institution, smaller institution, the Spanish Army Museum, Spanish Army Museum, the VNA, National Museum New Delhi, or smaller in, uh, institutions like the Irish Linen Center, Lisbon Museum, just to, to, to tell you what, what I, the result I give you then ba is based on uh, a list of, uh, of different uh, identity statements. Take just what you have, what you have in your institution, what you find uh, around uh, you, um, and um, yeah, and try to to find what are these added information. The result of uh, my research and uh, discussion are also with participants of uh, uh, different um, training sessions is that a short presentation, the short presentation of, of the institution, of the history of the institution, is very important to, to add to the mission, the vision, and the value uh, to understand what the museum is and why the museum is important. Second uh, piece of information that is very uh, essential the positioning of your institutions, so the USP, the unique selling proposition, what do you have that other museums haven't? And at the same time, if you say how unique you are, you can then uh, mention we, with which other organization you are working. So when you mention other organization, you uh, other organizations, you are able to um, to profile more your uh, unique uh, institution. Sometimes uh, there were some sentences about the benefits. Uh, if you are not mentioning them in the mission, the vision, the values, then, and, and of course it's important for you, you can mention what are the benefits of your institution for the visitors, what the visitors get at the end of the visit, and in general, what is the benefit of this uh, institution for society? What could, what could, uh, oh, do, what could be, um, I see you have problem with the, with the sound. I hope it's not for everyone. If you listen with your headphones, okay, no, no, that's okay. I, I, it's just a problem for one or two people. So you, you, if you have a niche echo, um, you have, um, you should use a, a, a headphone. Um, so just a qu come back to the this question. Yes, um, the benefit for for society. What does bring? What what brings the what could it be? What could be the society without your uh, your institutions? Very in interesting to think about that when you think about your mission, your vision, and your values. Uh, what you can add is the relevance. Uh, what are really the need of the visitors of society, and what? How can you meet these needs? You can mention also challenges. What are the priority for the next? Uh, the next years. But sometimes the vision is a very, very long-term vision. So with with goals that are which are difficult to achieve. So it's good to. Uh, it can be interesting to say, okay, next we, next two year we are going to do that. In the next ten years we are we are going to do that, and we have a long term long-term vision. You can also uh, to to enhance the uh, expression of identity of your museum, speak about um, services and, and why not the visitors' rights. So how do you deal with your uh, with the with comment of your, of the visitors, for example? So this is, this, there are so, some elements of a citizen charter. Uh, the question of citizen charter could be a part of. Um, of a, or the subject of a, 
uh, of a webinar, so I don't want to, to mention, uh, just wanted to mention that. And sometimes, if it's important to you, you can have a political statement. We saw that in different museums, for example, also in Germany. Uh, there are some museums making political statements on their website about climate crisis, about uh, refugees, or uh, about extremism. So all these things can really enhance and strengthen the identity of, uh, of uh, your, uh, your museum. It's why I speak always about identity statement, and not only mission, vision and values because they are the bone of the identity statement but you can add a lot of other things now i'd like to say something that is very important to me we are when we speak about museum mission museum vision museum's values we are very focused on document on words on definitions it's 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 just uh, in our culture that is very important to have statement, to have the document. But the identity of museum is not only expressed by a document. It's really not enough. The expression of the identity of your museum is much more visible, for example, on the website, through the social media. I would say uh, the the identity of museum is, that is very central, is expressed in the museum. So in the building, the location of the museum, the visitor experience is absolutely uh, essential to uh, understand the identity of, uh, of, uh, of, of, the, of the museum. So what you have in the statement should be visible, should be, should be experienced um, in the museum. And of course, the last bearer or the most important communicator of the museum identity, of the values, of the mission, of the vision, are the people. The people working uh, in the museum, also the people working in the administration, giving you money, or, uh, or all other stakeholders. So the visitors are very important ambassador for your museum identity. So the, your statement shouldn't be only on the paper, and it's important to check if the goal you have or the information you have in your statement, in your document, are, um, are visible, are expressed in these different uh, situations. So we are looking, we come back to this criteria. We saw, we said the identity, is not only mission, vision, values, it's very important, but you can add something like the positioning, the benefits, the relevance or your institution. And that is great on the paper. So on the paper, on your statement, on the website, that is important uh, based. But if you take the museum uh, and the people, you have, I would say, other identity criteria you are you have other places our element that can express the identity of the museums for example uh, in the building the facade the facade is already saying something you can write what you want on your identity statement uh, people who doesn't know your identity statement they say the facade of the museums and and you are always all, uh, already saying that saying something, uh, some, possibly something else. So signs, for example, in the museums, if on your identity statements you say uh, we are an inclusive museum, but the signs are not understandable because they are very beautiful, very uh, uh, colorful, very possibly uh, arty, but not understandable. You cannot find exactly what you what you are going to, to, to look for, then you have a tension be between your identity statement and what you actually uh, are expressing. The entrance, the corporate, the corporate design, the language or the languages. So the language, it means if you are an open institution, but you, you use 
words in the exhibition or in the entrance that uh, people cannot understand because it's a very specific language. Or if you say we are an international in, uh, institution in your identity statements or in your uh, mission, but you are only one language, even if the language is only English, I don't think that you express the fact that you are international if you are only one language. The program, uh, so the activity programs are saying a lot of things about your identity. The facilities, um, uh, the, the building history, it means uh, if the building has an history, is it readable? Do you give the visitor the beginning uh, of the visit where the visitor doesn't know uh, yet what is uh, the exhibition and uh, but he, he he or or she is in a in a place that is uh, that that uh, have a lot of questions so other uh, identity um, bearer is the odor of museums. Uh, it's very interesting, in, uh, in, in a training session, the participant says they are a museum, they smell like museum and other not. So it's always good to know what are the bearer, the ambassadors, the, 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 the places where identity is expressed and to check if your identity statement, what you want to express, is uh, in line. So, for example, uh, that is another exercise I give you. You take your identity statement, what you already have on your website or on your museum presentation. Possibly you have already a vision, mission, value statement. You take it and you go inside uh, the museum and you check. If you write, to, for example, that your museum is a place for learning, the question is, is it visible are the school classes for example uh, in the museum or in another building if they are not visible it's difficult to uh, express the 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 the, um, the idea that your museum is a place of learning uh, if it's not if it's not visible and last but not least the most important um, communicator of identity are the people and um, and it's very important that all the people having a contact with museums uh, are able to say what is the museum for, not only the director. Everyone is actually responsible for that. Another question that you should ask is, do they believe it? Because it's in important it's possible to be ambassador and say our museum is a place for learning or is an inclusive institution but do you really believe it if not you should change your identity statement and uh, the third question is are they part of the process identity and mission values and uh, and, and vision are not decided by one person uh, the head of the organization, but should be um, uh, discussed with uh, with the whole team, because uh, because it's the only way to have different ambassadors of the identity of the museum. The museum statement shouldn't be just there in a cupboard. So now uh, I think I, I told you the most important thing I wanted to tell you. I just want to make a summary uh, shortly, and then I give you the possibility to ask some, uh, some question if you want. Um, the mission of the museum is what your museum aims to do in the short term. It's what it can do, not just what you want, but what it can. So it's realizable realizable and uh, and you uh, the mission tells some things about why your museum exists the vision is what your museum wants to achieve in the long term it's where your museum wants to eventually be and um, it's what the museum wants to change socially or 
uh, in, yeah, in, 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 in society. The values is how your museum is managed based on what it believes in and what's important to your museum. Mission, vision, and values are interconnected, very important, and it's not enough, they are not enough to say what is, to, to, to express the identity of museum. So you can add some question like the positioning of the institution, the benefits for the visitor, for society, and the relevance of your institution. Um, the expression of identity is not only possible through documents, is um, extremely important to have the, to use your website, the social media to express your values, your mission, your vision. The identity of museum should be visible, should be, it, you can experience it in the museum, in the location, and the most important uh, communicator of identity are the people and all the stakeholders having a connection with the museum, so included the visitors. Question you always have to ask, or regularly, who knows your identity, you, who knows your mission, vision, and value statement, who believes in it, uh, and who participates. And uh, at the end of this uh, uh, webinar, I would like just to say three recommendations, very simple recommendations. I gave, I gave you already some exercise if you want to do that, but now just short recommendation. The first, you should communicate the vision, the mission, the values of your museum everywhere everywhere at every moment, not only on the paper and then is published on your website. It doesn't, if you, if you, if you cannot uh, communicate everywhere, um, you can, you, you don't, you don't need to work on uh, your identity statements. Second um, recommendation, you should monitor how your museum identity is perceived. It's very interesting to ask people that that don't know the museum or your museum to come to visit the museum and then ask them what have what was what was seen what was experienced where which values they saw which if 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 the vision if the mission of the museum was clear understandable it is very very important and you should monitor it uh, uh, regularly at, at least one time to see if you are in line with your written statement and the third um the third uh, recommendation i would like to to share with you you should review regularly your identity statement identity statement is not there to be uh, unchanged 10 or 20 years. Uh, you can let it unchanged if it's valid, but I think it's very important to be regularly once a year or every two years to speak about that with the whole team of the museum at least. So it's, uh, I think, everything what I wanted to tell you. You are important. If you are the museum director, if you are the museum visitor, I think you are ambassador of museum. So if the museum are the shaft, have a very strong identity, this identity must be visible and by every people inside, outside, and must be so desirable that people would like to become ambassador of the identity of your museum. That would be at least my vision. So it's everything what I wanted to tell you. We have now five minutes left. If you want uh, to ask some question, I would um, I would uh, read them. Um, now I have uh, some thank you. That's great. That's great. But now a question: Would you say the visible museum staff also adds to the identity conveyed to the visitor? How can you convey an identity to visitor? Uh, please do this exercise. You visit 
a museum, not your museum because you know your museum, but you visit another museum that you don't know, for example, when you are on holidays in another country. And you, 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 sh you um, record all your impressions um, before you visit an exhibition. So you think about the facade, your perception, uh, how, what could it be? What could the museum be? You go inside, you see how you speak with the people working there, if they speak with you, how they are uh, dressed, for example, do they have a uniform or not? So all the things that we actually not see, but all the, these things that are expression of identity. And then you try to write for a museum that, that you don't know, you try to, work, to write uh, what could be the vision, what could be the mission, what could be the values. And if you cannot write that, it means the museum could add some information or think about some, uh, uh, some changes in the museum experience. Um, maybe another question, what was the biggest challenge for you in consulting with the identity subject? Uh, I don't consult directly museums, huh? uh, but uh, I know a lot of museum and um, museum director. The most important challenges are museums that are that have never thought about what they say. It means the inst everything is focused on exhibition. And the exhibition is usually very good done, uh, well done with perfect text is, texts, etc. But they don't know what the museum, what the institutions say. Um, for example, there are a lot of museums with different, a lot of different um, uh, uh, collections. Um, and you come inside and you see all these different collections, but you, 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 don't, you don't understand the connection, you don't understand the history. Why? Why are these information in the museum? So these very important um, questions are sometimes in some museum not asked absolutely not ask and i think that is a big a big challenge sometimes you have also a museum with a, um, a name art museum or communication museums and so you can you go inside and you don't see you have an expectation but you see something else you see um, uh, sculptures in the first room in a museum that uh, that is a theater museum, for example. Why? There is a reason, but it's not visible. Uh, last question, if I find it, try to read one question. What can be done? What would we recommend? Sorry, sorry, the questions are coming. Uh, oh, I can read. What can be done or what you recommend if a small museum has a split identity simply because it belongs to the regional art museum landscape and to the local university collection. What message would be helpful to, for external visitors? What message would be conveyed to students? Uh, be transparent. Say that. If you have a museum with a kind of multiple identity, that's OK. The museum is a place where, where we can ask, when we can present complex identity, but tell it at the beginning, we are a museum with, for example, two founders or with a very difficult uh, history or we changed completely uh, our, uh, our core of the collection, but tell it. So transparency would be my last word because we have to, to stop. Thank you very much for uh, your attention. You can ask uh, Nimo or ask uh, me some uh, uh, some question. You can follow me on uh, on Twitter if you want, and uh, I'm I'm happy to answer the other question after the uh, after the the, uh, the webinar. It was a pleasure. I hope you are. Um, I could give you some keys to improve.
um, the, the, the identity statement of your, your museum, improve or just check. And uh, I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. <laughs>